the House has declared it's anti-Semitic to be anti-Zionist. But is it also anti-Semitic to not give the Israeli government money since they are Zionists? In another major development tonight, Republican senators blocked a White House request for more than $100 billion in emergency aid, primarily for Ukraine and Israel. There is money in that bill for the border, but conservatives are demanding big policy changes. CBS's Nancy Cordes is at the White House. All right, Nancy, so what is it that the Republicans want? Nora, what they want are sweeping concessions on immigration policy. But the president had some harsh words for them here today. He said Ukraine is going to lose its fight against Russia without more American help soon. And he said the failure to provide that assistance before the holidays would be the best gift that Russian President Vladimir Putin could get. I mean, really, is the Ukrainian government going to fall just for not getting one payment of $60,000, like, what about all the other nations around that are helping? The Ukrainian government is doing pretty well in its fight against the Russian government. Here's the issue. Many Republicans in Congress actually support the $61 billion the White House is seeking for Ukraine. But... They're vowing to vote against it until they secure those sweeping changes to U.S. border policy in the face of a record number of migrant crossings this year. Democrat How can Republicans, on one hand, complain about a labor shortage that is going on? There's not enough people working. Uh, a lot of it's because of the pandemic. A lot of people died. A lot of people retired. A lot of people... Uh, got injured due to co uh, COVID and have a hard time working. Uh, there are people that are wanting to move into the United States, become American citizens in work. Why do people have a problem with people wanting to work in the United States if we have a labor sh shortage? Democrats called their plan extreme. So we're now in a situation where past U.S. assistance to Ukraine has all but run out. The White House has promised Ukraine and all of its allies that more help is on the way. And yet now this is all tied up until the two sides can work out something on immigration, an issue that has divided them.